Hey guys, and today I want to talk about a fun new MMORPG game that has gacha style mechanics that I've been enjoying a lot with a lot of customization. And that game is the game you actually see on your screen here called Ragnarok Origin, based off of Ragnarok Online, the game that released in 2002. So this game is available on mobile and will also be available on emulators if you play it on your computer. And it's super, super fun. If you guys are interested, I highly recommend playing this game or at least trying it out because it is completely free to play. You actually will be able to use the coupon codes in the description and comment box down below to get items that will help your progression. The coolest thing about this game is the job system that you can actually use to actually customize your character. Now this game actually features a job system featuring six classes that branches into two sub archetypes, meaning that there are going to be technically 12 classes you can actually choose from. You can actually switch between jobs in game and each job has a different level system that is separate from your account, which you can see at the bottom here. And it is just a very, very fun mechanic to play around with because there's just so many different play styles you can play with. Now for my character, I actually chose a swordsman because I like playing tanks and it is the best for actually solo gameplay, which I mostly plan to do. As you can also see on your screen, you can actually assign points to actually customize your character as well, which is super fun because you can keep customizing your character to your liking. You can even reset the points if you want, uh, if you want to change how you actually want to build your character. Now this is super cool because like I said, a lot of customization and the job system as well is super fun to play with because like I said, the two sub archetypes makes it so that you can actually go for different styles of gameplay depending on what you want to actually get out of your character. And keep in mind, you can always change throughout the jobs if you feel like you want to switch up the pace. For other jobs guys, if you want to do more damage, you can actually choose between the thief, archer, or mage archetype or even acolyte to provide support or even a merchant if you want to play more of a trader role in the game that does not rely too much on combat. Now for the combat system itself in game, the battle system actually uses a skill tree where you can actually level up your skills. And as you can see, as you actually go up through jobs, you can actually unlock more skills. Like I was saying, for the swordsman, you can choose between knight or crusader. If you want to be a crusader, you have a lot more attack speed buffing for your spears. And for knights, you actually specialize in swords and have better mobility than the crusaders. However, since we're still in the first job, guys, you can see that I don't have that unlocked, but you can actually, you know, level up your skills as you want and actually have these skills available for you to actually use. Now, these skills are very important because it will actually make your class a lot more powerful by using these skills very nicely together. And you can actually also, you know, drag these skills to your hotbar or your hotkeys to actually make it so that it is easier to use while you're fighting. Now, there's a lot more bonuses you can actually unlock as you can see if you level up your jobs to certain levels you get extra stats and even for lineups which you unlock later on you can actually get more bonus benefits this way from support skill the combat itself is pretty simple guys you just run around you just you know can either click these skills here that you have hot keyed like i said earlier or if you are feeling a little bit more lazy and you want to actually do something else there even is an auto battle system here that you can choose what enemies to actually attack as well which makes this a lot more customizable and makes it so that you know you don't have to actually grind as hard as you actually have to do in MMORPG games for usual, especially if you want to break from manual play, which is a big reason why I actually love this game so much because you don't have to just sit here and grind all day. The game is completely multiplayer, guys. So you can actually link up with people from your own server and even form parties to tackle raid bosses or even join like a guild like I have here to actually meet more friends and to actually find other people to play with. If you guys are Wanting to start a game but you don't have a lot of friends to play with, this game is perfect because the guild system is very very good and you can actually link up with your guildies, get a lot of rewards, and actually be able to, you know, actually play with them and even have like a guild headquarters where you guys can actually hang out, which is super cool. Another great part about this game guys is unlike other games, you actually are not locked between quests through your energy because there's no energy that you actually need in this game really, the only energy that is used is going to be in the daily system here, but you can just keep playing through and even grind on mobs here to actually level up, making it so that you can actually play as much as you want. Now, a lot of you guys are probably also wondering about the gacha system in the game because there is a gacha system in the game. Now in this game, Ragnarok Origin, you actually are going to summon for equipment here. And you can see that the one that's featured here is the Basketball Appearance Gacha um, set. And as you can see, if you guys actually follow basketball, there's a lot of attention to detail in the costumes that they give you because um, this actually follows LeBron James' celebration and playstyle. So the attention to detail is pretty crazy, I have to give them that. Um, but the gear here is going to actually give you stats. So you're going to see like the gear that you can actually get from summoning can give you stats. And the chances to actually pull are pretty high. So it's 1% per piece, 
but all together it's four percent to get like one piece that is featured and even like the purple pieces or the epic pieces are actually pretty good as well now there is also a pity system here as you can see every time you summon you'll get one point and your points can actually be redeemed to actually you know purchase things from the store as you can see here it's going to be basically the ones from that are featured and some other ones as well that are not featured on the current banner or are on the other banner that is also running at the same time and both of these pities will actually stack together and after the period ends what happens is that these points will actually be converted to gold medals of the same same amount which is going to be used for other things in game so your points actually don't actually get wasted after the event period ends which is pretty cool some games just don't give you anything after the banner ends and all of your pity goes to zero but in this game you are not going to see that because the gacha system actually requires you to summon for costumes you actually only need to gear one character which is your main character which is very nice because you don't have to actually worry about pulling for multiple sets for every single character right you just need whatever sets you need for your job for your character which is very very nice and you can you know pull for stats that you want as well which is pretty cool as well also guys if you don't feel like the stats fit your character but you want the aesthetic don't worry there is also a wardrobe that you can go into where you can see all of the pieces are here that you have previously gotten and you can actually customize your character to look like however you want which is very cool as well like even right now i can change my hairstyles uh, which is pretty cool at will um, you just have to go to the hair salon and get it done and there's just a lot of customization it's just like a uh, 3d like anime rpg game which is very fun to play with uh, because it's actually with multiplayer as well with a lot of customization like i previously stated for what to do in, in game guys the game is very generous in helping you progress just do the story quests on the left as you can see for me the story quest requires me to be level 21 i am level 17 so what i have to do actually is actually you know do my side quest to actually level up as you can see on the left here if i just click it it will actually take me to the quest so um there's not like so much manual labor that you have to do you can just literally just click the quest here on the left and it will take you where you need to go to actually carry out that quest which is very very nice and very convenient there are also even some dailies you can do like i previously showed you that will also give you a ton of exp to actually catch up if you just do your dailies every day and just do some side quests eventually you'll actually be able to uh, do your story quests again and continue forward pretty easily because um, it is very very beginner friendly and this game gives you a lot of things to do to actually reach the higher base levels required to continue the story with the dailies though like i said since this game is new there's a lot of beginner rewards just make sure you click through everything as you can see in the beginner rewards that there is a level gift box and even some shops that if you want to spend some of your materials for you can get other stuff as well and also you're going to see that there's a beginner's bonus running right now so the best time to start is now because as you can see there's exp growth boost your exp rate will adapt to the average level on the server so you actually will not fall behind you can catch up super easily and that's like the biggest one for me and the other ones are very nice as well you get extra materials uh you get extra daily instances um dungeons with boosted abilities allowing you to you know fight even stronger and also you get a limited time discount shop as well which is very very cool this game is very very nice to new players and just seems like a very good game to try overall because it just looks so generous and the gameplay is pretty fun as well this game is completely free to play with a ton of events going on and even more events planned out with a lot of rewards that you can get which will make your account progression super easy and the game being 3d also actually makes this game like such a breath of fresh air ragnarok origin guys definitely recommend testing it out it is super super fun i've been having a lot of fun with it recently and i definitely recommend trying it because of how beginner friendly it is and how the combat system is and because of the job system and also make sure to use the coupon codes in the description box and in the comments section down below to get a head start on your account definitely recommend trying out this game at least it's free to play after all